What's up, painters? Peter from Panda here. Hey, I just bought myself some ski goggles on Amazon. These are from DNS, not D and G, like Dolce and Gabbana. It's from DNS, which stands for Dragon and Squama. So keep that in mind. So first of all, I want to say that you know ski goggles aren't that expensive. It seems to me for decent ski goggles, these were forty-three dollars. I picked them up on Amazon, and what I'm pleasantly surprised is they come with their own, you know, hard fabric case here. So. Uh, you have a clip here on the case and then um, a zipper and let's go ahead and open it up this is gonna be a true unboxing and so you actually have you know a nice carrying case I guess you know it's to me it seems like this is something I guess you want to protect goggles for sure especially since they're supposed to be light and kind of um, delicate but man for for $42 goggles, I wouldn't imagine that you'd get a carrying case like this. I mean, it's kind of like a, a $500 pair of Bose headphones, which I do understand you might want a carrying case for. Microfiber cloth, looks like there's a little bit of a, of a uh, some, some info in there. And then you've got your goggles in another like uh, nylon pouch. So a pretty protected little drawstring pouch here. So let's go ahead and open this up. Let's see which ones I got. I thought these were in Revo Blue, but let's see. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. Revo Blue, baby. Dude, I could totally make myself look like a fighter pilot with these things. Uh, not my first pair of ski goggles. As you saw, I got a couple pairs because I want to style it up. But these are pretty cool. And the reason I got these, man, woo, highly reflective. What up? What up, ski monkeys? Um... But I got them because these are definitely advertised as OTG goggles. So the first thing I want to show you is that you can see the foam is missing right here. And there's a fairly significant cutout in the uh, the plastic, the plastic housing. Although it's a little bit of like rubberized, it definitely moves. So I, I mean, that's good. You know, old ski goggles of yore used to be really kind of hard polycarbonate plastic but this is definitely more flexible but a clear cutouts on either side here and that is for glasses so let me just take my glasses here because I wear glasses I don't know if you know that um, and so you should be able to put them on and wear your glasses while wearing these goggles and they would fit somewhere in there and the goggles would actually kind of hold them on and there's a little bit of like material in here as well like a microfiberish kind of material that would probably keep your glasses from impacting the plastic uh, or the polycarbonate lens but also kind of brace them and hold them in place a little bit so um i am unaware of ski goggles that come in prescription strength or prescription form like um swimming goggles often do which i have a pair and they're a lifesaver uh but uh you these are um a, a version of OTG or over the glasses goggles that seem to advertise that feature, which is nice. I've also seen other goggles that don't advertise it or don't specifically have the cutouts here that seem to work fine with glasses, but there are definitely goggles that don't work fine with glasses either and don't work at all with glasses. So if you do wear glasses, just keep that in mind. So the first thing I'll tell you is that it's pretty thick. You definitely have a couple of inches, uh, and it looks like here, from the front to the back of the the foam here it's about 1.75 inches but this is going to compress a little bit especially this kind of half inch part of it that's going to compress around your face and kind of create a nice seal looks like there are some cutouts here on the top three in particular and i can feel that there is a plastic kind of venting underneath so it might be a little hard to see here but that is definitely you can see through the foam there's just a kind of a, a, a thin layer of foam over those cutouts and then there's some kind of reinforcements so that uh, the foam doesn't just fall all the way through but that is kind of to let air out to keep your goggles from fogging up etc etc on the bottom here looks like we have some more this is kind of nice because when you're skiing you kind of get cool air blowing up in here and kind of forcing that hot air out so you don't get really hot you don't get condensation or sweat accumulating here uh, there is a film on this, the glasses here that you're going to remove beforehand. And uh, I'm not actually sure totally how you do it. Oh, you just pull it off. So look at that. So you can just remove the film right there. And now we get a highly really reflective um, look through here. And once you get 
you know, it does kind of give you a little bit of a gold tinge, but I'm always surprised about looking through, you know, the glasses with kind of those um, outer, you know, protective UV colorized layers. And the color distortion isn't nearly as bad as I always assume it's going to be, right? Because, first of all, you can't see anything out of, pretty much. Once this is pressed up to your face, you're not going to be able to see much. It's going to be like a one-way mirror. And so I'm always surprised. I'm like, oh, how can you see out of those? It's always like those uh, matte finished black sunglasses that I can't believe people can see out of. Because I'm like, can you see out of those? Because they look like they're just spray painted black. Anyway, uh, I digress. You've got an elastic um, band here for wrapping around your head. About almost one and three quarters inches thick. And what I can tell you is they've applied um, like a silicone like these wavy lines here on the inside. So you should have really nice, I mean, I can tell you it's super grippy. Um, you know, nice grippy um, material, silicone all the way around. So if you're just wearing around your head, I don't think that's gonna be a problem. But if you're wearing them, say, on the outside of a helmet or something like that, I think that these would hold in place nicely. If it were just this uh, fabric, the stretchy fabric, these would probably slip off anything uh, slick without an issue. I mean, it would probably just slip right off at the first sign of uh, stress. Dragon and Squama right there on the side, man. So the advertising is is not subtle. Um, so I'm pretty, I'm digging it. I, I think maybe you, I don't know if you could change the lenses on here. Maybe you can't. It doesn't really look like it's, it's obvious if you can. Uh, there are some slots right here. I'm trying to feel if you can feel through them. I don't believe they are for breathability. It looks like me. That's, yeah, there might be a little bit of a, um, a little bit of venting through there. It looks like that's where it's also mounted. As you can see, it's kind of glued around the actual frame of the goggles there. So uh, pretty cool. And then obviously adjust them here. Um, do they work? Over glasses, let's find out for sure. So I've got these bad boys on and they are definitely over my glasses, as you can see. Um, it does take a little bit of fiddling at first because you kind of try to line up the glasses and you have to make some adjustments uh, with the glasses and then a little bit of adjustments with the, the goggles. Uh, I'm actually pretty impressed with what good visibility I have out of these bad boys because it certainly looks like <laughs> you couldn't see out of it. And the color distortion, everything has a little bit of a gold yellow tinge to it, but uh, they seem to work pretty nicely. And I like how big they are because you do actually have a pretty good, um, you know, uh, good, pretty good peripheral vision, pretty good um, vertical vision, and that's all. They are they are pretty, pretty decently comfortable. And I don't feel the goggles at all pushing in on. Uh, the the frame of my glasses the only place that actually you can probably feel it is where the strap rides over the the arms of your glasses frame uh, these are pretty comfortable for me but if you have say like kind of a large frame glass or something with uh, you know large plastic arms or something like that that might be an issue I don't know if it will be but it might be uh, the other thing that I will say is that just because of the shape of them, they're pretty comfortable, but I think they're meant for more, you know, uh, with my big pumpkin shaped head, it's kind of like a perfect sphere and there's a little bit of a gap. I can kind of push my finger in here and adjust my glasses because eh, you're probably not going to be able to see, but they're kind of more meant for like a more narrow head that, uh, a little more pointiness to the to the front of the face. They they work fine for me, and I should be able to ski and snowboard, uh, as well as get into vicious snowball fights with these without a problem. But like I said, I have about a finger's width of of gap between the nose and the front of the um, the foam here. So that's something that you'll probably want to keep in mind if you have a a head shaped like mine. But I think overall, I really like them because. I will be able to wear my glasses while doing outside snow activities and I don't have to worry about taking a snowball in the face and getting my glasses smashed or falling uh, while skiing or something and, and smashing or losing even my glasses when I take a spill. So pretty impressed with them. Anyway, check them out. The OTG Blue Spherical Skiing Snowboarding 
snow activity, goggles, Peter Von Panda, out. <laughs>